What have I done? Happy 5 a.m. February. Yay! do like some cold water or something on my face to kind of try to wake up this is hard oh dear god i am struggling right now i'm not gonna freak out because it's 506 it's just 506 just, let's wake up let's wake up we can do this okay i'm gonna wash my face okay that's warm water Jesus, be a fence. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? <gasps> Come on now. Now we're gonna do cold water. Come on, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, this camera is so crooked. Hey, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> Ain't nobody have any business filming at this hour, so if these shots look crazy, don't come for me. That cold water helps. Go put some cold water on your face. So the way I wanted to do my schedule with this 5 a.m. routine is I really wanted to start naturally moving my body to wake up. I cannot do a workout right now. It's honestly just a liability for me to do a workout in this state. Um, I think I'm still in REM sleep. What I was going to do was I was just going to do a little tidying up for the next, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes. <sighs> just to get my body moving, get the blood flowing. The kitchen could use a little bit of clean and I can definitely tidy up my bathroom. And then we'll take things from there. But before we do that, I'm going to put an ice cube on my face because I'm trying to wake up. And I hear this is like... Actually, I didn't hear anything about this, but it sounds like it should work. <laughs> it's tightening my pores, I know that much. Let's get under those eyeballs. Tears. Let's open the third eye. I'm just kidding. Fuck. Does this man eat behind my back, you ask? Wendy's Frosty. So I'm feeling a lot more awake. If you are incorporating cleaning in your morning routine, can't recommend it enough. It gently woke me up. Now I feel like I can comprehend things and use my brain. So I'm gonna get ready for my workout of the day. It's quite a lengthy workout. Did I say worth out? I'm so tired. One second, this might help. If you're new here, you're new, but this is not new. That's what I'm trying to say. This is not new for Bria. I have been religiously taking these for like the last two years, which is why my hair don't stop growing. My nails be strong AF. No, but I've really noticed a difference. Now the reason I like these is because there's 95 milligrams of caffeine. So it does help. It's like a little cup of coffee. So I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna get dressed and go ahead and do my Pilates workout, which I just do at home. And then I would like to get some steps in on the treadmill, just doing some cardio. And that'll be my workout. One of my goals is to get my workout done in the morning because I kind of started doing it in the afternoon. And truthfully, it's a hit or miss. Sometimes I'll go if I wait, sometimes I won't. But if I do it in the morning and just check it off my list, it is a good feeling to not have to think about it. Thank you. 
It's interesting. It's not the easiest thing to take in the world. Okay, so I just got dressed. By the way, it took me three times because I actually put everything on inside and out. I noticed a sports bra. Twice I did it wrong. And then my leggings were inside out. So at least we're getting these things out of the way today. You know, Cuppy had to come for the ride. I guzzled this down during Pilates. I'm using this app called the Pilates Class, which I kind of mentioned earlier in another video. I kind of helped myself out because I didn't want to like lose momentum this morning. So last night before I went to bed, I picked out the workout that I wanted to do from the app. And so I'm going to do another boxing Pilates video because it was lit. It's 44 minutes long. So this is a Pilates boxing class. It's All right, Pilates workout is done. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything over 30 minutes again. It was 44 minutes. I need something a little less. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm gonna do now is journal. I have my gratitude journal here and I also have my planner so I can set intentions for the day and see what I have going on. Once I do that, I will just do a little meditation back here. I chose my closet because my crystals are right here. Yeah. So that's basically the only reason I'm in my closet. Also, it just there's something really comforting about being in here. When I first moved, well, when I first got the keys to my apartment, the first thing I did was come sit in this closet. I don't know. It's calming. All right, so I just finished a journal entry and I just followed the prompt that was in here today. It was basically, I am grateful for family because dot, 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 like you just fill in the prompts. And then this is my planner, the happiness planner, which I also really love because it asks, what do you want to attract today? What exercises do you do? Your schedule to do? How was your sleep? So I get to track those things and hopefully they get a little easier. <laughs> this process i did that mapped out my day and now i'm just gonna do a little meditation probably 10 minutes long just to picture how i want today to go set good intentions and give my brain a moment to just be because you know once we clock in we clocked in okay so normally i just go on youtube and i literally type in whatever i'm looking for i'm gonna do 10 minute Guided meditation. I haven't meditated in a while. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off Welcome so that I can do this in peace. All right, fam. We got the hardest part out of the way and it's just now 8 a.m. I am moving a little bit slower than I know I normally would because I'm documenting. So I feel like tomorrow I could honestly get done around 7 or 7.30, just being a little more intentional to not be on my phone and get all these clips. I personally recommend avoiding social media. If you wanna document your experience, that works, but I feel like it just breaks the thought pattern as soon as you get on social media and I don't know I'm not as present I noticed that so I opened Instagram like out of muscle memory this morning and then I was like I, I, I don't want to be on social media until I am done with this routine at least until I'm done with my workout so now I'm done with my workout I feel like I can get into the rest of my morning routine but I don't mind being on social media at this point anyways we got a package something I ordered Lord knows what it is because you know them 3 a.m. Amazon orders It's a new tripod. So Shauna C, she posted a really good iPhone tripod. And I need one that's not gonna just let the wind take it. So I got this one, God bless. Yeah, yeah, AJ can build that. I don't know about y'all, but we need some caffeine up in this joint. Cause I feel okay right now, but I feel like I'm not quite obsessing over this yet. You know, it's day one. I know I told you it wasn't gonna be rainbows and butterflies on day one, so give it a second. Let it marinate. I picture myself waking up and, and just vibing. And I've been in that state before, so I know it's possible. Oh my gosh. <gasps> hi! Hello! <laughs> Do you wanna say hi to YouTube? 
I'm gonna grab you. You sit. Come here, chicken weeder. Everyone say good morning, AJ. Good morning, AJ. Are you waking up at 5 a.m. with us? I'm in the club, ain't I? Okay. We'll see if you about that life. We'll see if you about that life. Down. Hey, now that the camera's on you, down. Good boy. Okay, one another. Hit touch. Sit. Paw. Okay, stay. This is gonna be embarrassing because to sit, stay. Good boy. Hey, heel. Good boy. Good job, mommy. Hi, okay, so I was just thinking earlier how badly I did not want to get on that treadmill. The longest 30 minutes of my life. Time does in fact slow down when you do cardio. Anyways, I got to thinking about this really interesting thing that my husband told me. Me. Yeah, and he heard someone talking about why they do hard things, why they're able to continue showing up for themselves. And while I was on that treadmill today, I was, I was thinking about that. I was like, you know what? It's because I respect myself. Right? Mm -hmm. So, who was talking about this? I don't even remember who it was, but he had a really good point about doing the hard work, such as getting up really early to start your day. And he was like, you know, I just respect myself and I hold myself to that standard. So, it's not to say that because you don't do hard things, you don't respect yourself. It's just, you know what you want. Bria knew she wanted to get on that treadmill, but there was that subconscious that was like, you know, I don't want to do that. Of course, like, like with a lot of things. So it's just identifying what you want and then making sure that you know that, that that's what you want and then giving yourself that talk like, okay, I respect myself. I want what's best for me. So I'm going to do that hard thing that I don't want to do. And I also think it's so interesting too. We have the choice to show up for ourselves and do something that gets us out of our comfort zone and it doesn't feel great at first and it's hard and it puts you out of what you're used to. Also thinking about why is it so much easier to show up for obligations outside of ourselves? You continually clock in for work when you're supposed to. You show up for your friends, you show up for your family, your kids. Why not do it for yourself? first and that's another thing i hope a lot of you get out of this because i know if y'all are anything like me and you are you all give a lot in other areas of your life but you forget to invest in yourself and just imagine how much better you're going to show up in other areas of your life when you're really taking care of yourself in all those areas so that's why it might seem like oh this is just like a little 5 a.m challenge but really the discipline and the consistency and the showing up for yourself within this challenge is a principle foundation for the rest of your life and things that you can do outside of this challenge just keep that in mind i know it's rough the first day the first week but remember the big picture here and it comes down to respecting yourself and investing in yourself okay is that my cue to say period <laughs> no that's your cue to make me some potatoes <laughs> this whole thing? Here's breakfast. We have eggs, fruit, Ezekiel bread with butter and everything but the bagel seasoning. And of course, some truff sauce. Bone apple tea. All right, so it is about 8.30. I've had breakfast. I've done my workout. I will not be doing a 45 minute workout again. Pilates class, I mean, I think what I'm gonna do moving forward is a 30 minute under a Pilates class and then do my walk. That way it doesn't take two hours of my day. It takes one hour because it was just too long. You know, you don't need you don't need that much, girl. Anyways, opening my laptop, going to clean out my email inbox, and that'll kind of be a good start to my Monday to have all those follow-ups followed up. You know the drill. And mind you, I need to be drinking a ton of this. Cold water actually helps wake me up, so make sure you have your cuppy and stay hydrated on this journey. So I'm all showered, I'm all clean. I actually took a bubble bath because that's what hot girls do. 
<laughs> that's how they start their day. Anyways, I know that there's daily challenges coming up. Today's actually January 31st, so this is the warm up to 5 a.m. February, but we're just gonna like group it all together because it's Monday and I like to start things on Mondays. So anyways, the daily challenge is this week. February 1st is make your bed. So I'm actually gonna do that in a second here because that is something I really would just like to do every day again like I used to. February 2nd, 30 minute workout. February 3rd, get in self care, whatever that is for you. February 4th, treat yourself. Again, whatever that means for you. February 5th, journal prompt. Something you're proud of and something you wanna improve on from the past week. February 6th, hang up and put away clothes. It, yeah, I'm talking about the clothes that are sitting in that chair in the corner of your room that have no home. Go find a home for them. And if you need to, do we need to do a declutter? Do we need to donate? Like, let's figure out what is the actual issue? Is it excess? Is it laziness? Doesn't matter, no one's judging, but get to the root of that and clean your room. So yeah, hang up your clothes. And then February 7th, organize pantry. I'm really excited for that one. And some of you already said you're really excited for that one too. Something about an organized kitchen on the inside and out gets me hot and bothered. Welcome to your late 20s. So I'm gonna make my bed because I've been living like a degenerate. We haven't made our bed since we moved here. Yesterday, the sheet was somehow on top of the duvet. Disgusting, disgusting. <laughs> what do you guys think? She really did that. Anyways, no, we don't have bed decor right now because we are in the process of still getting settled. So it's kind of giving summer camp or we could go with minimalist. That's what it's giving. West Elm, hit me up, could use the help. <laughs> and I'm ready for AJ to make me an espresso. I don't do coffees, espressos, I don't do that kind of stuff because normally it makes me feel like I wanna explode and throw up. But we're gonna try it today because I'm out of options. We gotta do what we gotta do. Are you ready? <laughs> so I like to sometimes make it called uh, an undertow where I would put cream at the bottom and then when I do the espresso, put like a spoon over top, kind of helps dissipate it so that way it doesn't like mix in with the cream, but you don't really like the espresso taste yeah. quite as much. So I'm gonna- Make it for our five-year-olds. I can do that. So we're, you love this cream. I'm not gonna put cinnamon or brown sugar in it. I'm just gonna- Y'all have to get this cream. Yeah. I poured it over fruit yesterday, you guys, and I created <laughs> something that none of you understand quite yet, so. <laughs> really sweet. You don't need a lot. And this comes with a little steamer. A little frother, I would love to do that for her, but it doesn't really work that well, I don't think. She heard me trying to use it yesterday. It kind of sounded like... It's like the last thing you want to hear at 5 a.m. I am Picasso! With this now, you still have a little bit on the bottom, which will be a nice hit at the end, and it should still be pretty well mixed in. You wanna try it? Do you think? I kinda wanna stir mine. I don't want the finale hit. I want it to taste like a milkshake the whole time. I need to respect the espresso enough that you at least know that you're drinking an espresso a little bit. Why? Because like I said, you need to respect it. Give it a taste, okay, before you start popping off. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a little espresso-y. Maybe a little more creamer. That's gonna make me wanna bang my head into a cement wall. Mm -hmm. Let's try it now. Add a little more cream. Yeah, okay, I can do that. Mm-hmm. I feel like I need to set intentions when I have espresso. Tell the coffee what I want it to do for me, okay? I yeah. want you to give me a good, energetic, crisp type of high that makes me feel not nauseous and joyful, blissful, euphoric, productive, motivated. Thank you, espresso. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You gotta set intentions. It's day one, okay? Am I living for this yet? No. 
No, I'm not. But bigger picture, guys. Remember, we respect ourselves. Remember, we do hard things because we're capable. Exactly. So cheers to us. <laughs> we're going to get it in February. And I'm going to circle back with an update because I feel like we can only go up from here. Right? Right. Right. Cheers to 5 a.m. February, guys. Thank you.